welcome to Asana Deconstructed episode 3. Today we're gonna tackle the poem named after Sage Marichi, Marichi's pose 1. Uh, Marichasana 1 would be the name in Sanskrit. It is a seated forward fold variation and most likely you've already practiced that in your yoga class. It just doesn't get named very often during the practice. Benefits of the pose. So the main action is the forward fold, is the flexion of your spine. That means the main benefit is the lengthening and stretching of the muscles that go along the spine, creating that space, creating that rejuvenating, activating energy in it. Further, as a forward fold, uh, it is also very beneficial for your digestive system and for your abdominal organs, so the organs that are located in your abdominal cavity. And lastly, again coming back to the main action, the flexion of the spine, folding forward, it's a very common and balancing um, effect on your nervous system, on your brain. If you pair this asana, this pose with uh, um, one to two part breathing, that means that your inhalation is twice shorter than your exhalation, so you exhale much longer. That will calm your brain and calm your nervous system so tremendously and beautifully, and you will also uh, sink and relax into this pose and deepen the expression. Preparation. As always, we're going to talk about preparation. Um, one of the simplest and one of the most simplest and very enjoyable actually poses uh, to prepare for this is the deer uh, pose twist. So, so called deer legs, both knees bent. Either side will start with the left, so the left knee brought to the back as much as possible. Pay attention that the tops of your both feet are on the ground, so you're not like on the edge somehow wavy, twisted, top of your foot on the floor, top of the foot on the floor. If this creates too much tension in your knees, if you feel any discomfort, you can try this prop, uh, very easily accessible in any household. Uh, I just took a, a washcloth, or it could be like a, a handkerchief or a piece of cloth, a piece of fabric roll and you place it right under your kneecap and try to close that. If it's too big, maybe take one layer out, whatever is more uh, convenient and fitting for your uh, anatomy, for your build. This knee can also be handled with the help of a cloth, or you can also just try to take out the flesh, the muscles of your calf. And place the, uh, the upper thigh, the thigh on the calf after. So we are in a deer uh, pose, now we're going to twist. We're rotating into the in the direction of the uh, front leg, so in this case it's the right, right side and we stay here for 20-30 seconds. Make sure that your breathing is even and smooth. That means that inhale and exhale are equal intervals and you're breathing through the nose into your belly. And then you switch sides. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to do both sides. But I'm just demonstrating the uh, preparatory poses for the Marichi's pose one. Pose number two to prepare. Uh, that also a seated forward fold. I'll show on the right side. Right leg is extended, toes facing towards you. So a foot is flexed to keep this leg engaged. Left leg bends the knee and again bring it as much to the back as it feels comfortable and safe. Your heel will most likely touch the inner thigh of the same leg and the toes of the left foot will touch the inner 
side of the opposite leg. Right? We're facing forward, we inhale, arms overhead, the spine is long and straight, so no rounding in the lower back, and we exhale as we fold forward. Knee here, knee gradually to your front foot, also keep it flex, maybe give a little massage. If you can't reach your foot, you can use the belt or the strap to facilitate the flexion of your trunk and stay here for another 20 to 30 seconds, which is about five to six steady, even breaths. So we stay here, maybe we gradually fall deeper. And remember that we're folding forward and down, not just down. So the goal is not to reach the knee or the shin with our forehead, Goes to elongate our spine and flex from our hips and not from our lower back. Can you switch back? One more pose uh, to prepare for the Marichi's pose one. It is actually a variation of the Marichi's pose. I think it's number three. Left leg will be our bottom leg, bent knee, the same principle. The foot of the left leg is laying on its top, not on the edge, right? And it's as close to your right thigh as possible. The right foot, is, the leg is crossed over and the foot is planted. So it could be here, it could be here. No strain. Uh, the spine is long and tall and your chin is parallel to the ground. To here, maybe Hug the top knee and try to bring it closer to the chest. And let's add a twist. So you wrap your left arm around your right knee and you place your right hand behind you and you twist to the right, gazing over the right shoulder. All right, same concept for staying here for five, six, Smooth breaths. So, Marichi's pose one. I will demonstrate again with the right leg being the extended leg. So, right leg is extended, foot flexed, toes are facing towards you. Then the left knee. Place your foot, left foot on the floor and bring it as close to your bum as possible. So leave some distance, uh, distance between your right thigh and your left foot. Maybe that's a good check, just about the, the width of your palm. Bring the knee close to your chest. Extend your spine upwards, so no rounding in the lower back. Exhale and reach with your left hand towards the right foot and try to hook onto it while you're placing your right hand behind you for support. So we're doing two things. We're flexing forward and we're slightly rotating. Then release the foot and see if you can rotate more to the right. The left arm gets inwardly rotated. So we're pronating it. That means that the palm will face to the back. Extend. That means we're flexing forward. Wrap your arm around the left knee and clasp your left hand onto the right wrist or higher. If you can't reach, again, you can use the strap. So reaching, clapping, grabbing, and coming to flexion. Stay here. Keep that foot in, uh, the front foot engaged, flexed, and make sure you're not collapsing um, the bent knee. Just try to point it to the ceiling. I'm going to re-collapse to my wrist. And then bring your trunk forward and bend over the right leg. Gazing in 
front of you. The front foot is flexed. And now we're gonna work on trying to straighten our arms by engaging the tricep. Straighten our arms brings our trunk more into flexion. Relax your abdomen. And this is a good time to incorporate that one to two part breathing. Inhaling, for example, on four. And exhale on eight. Relax your jaw, don't punch your, your jaw. Your facial muscles should be relaxed. A smile often helps. And, and also pay attention to your right shoulder. So your right shoulder is not all the way to the back. So try to level it with the left shoulder by bringing it forward. Five, six breaths and we release and switch sides. Another way, perhaps an easier way to get into the pose is to skip the, uh, the twisted part. So same starting point, then we inhale, inhale arms overhead and then we exhale and bend forward, grabbing the, the front foot, keeping the knee pointing upwards as much as possible okay and then we're again inwardly rotating our left arm you see how already my trunk was brought much deeper into flexion and then i wrap around swing my right arm and clasp so that could be um, an easier way to come into the pose. However, the benefits of the first method where we extend, twist, and then flex, has the, that you incorporate the twist, which is really great for your digestion and massaging your uh, internal organs. So that's it for the episode today. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave your feedback below. Uh, if you would like to study any particular pose, also please leave your comment in this, uh, on this episode. And uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to subscribe or leave likes. I truly appreciate that. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you and bye.